So today I'm going to show you how to get facial tracking without NVIDIA's RTX broadcast software and this will work on any webcam and any graphics card and it's really simple to do. So the first thing you've got to do is if you pop on to Snap Camera, you'll need to download and install this on your PC. It's not large software and it'll work on Windows and on Mac, no Linux as of yet. And it's very similar to Snapchat on your mobile phone, gives you all the fancy filters, funny faces, you can even change yourself to full avatar and so forth. But I'm going to give you a demonstration of how you use it for facial tagging or face tracking. Now, it's not 100%, it's not as good as NVIDIA's, but it does what it says on the tin, which is good. So this is what the software looks like once you've installed it. Simply just a case of clicking next, next, next to install. No special instructions, no bloatware that comes with it, which is really good. And first thing you should do is go into your settings. You want to pick the camera that you're going to be using. You want to pick the resolution and the frame rate. You want to make sure it's on either 30 or 60, whichever your camera is most capable of. And you can choose a custom microphone. Whether that be the one from your webcam, your headset, you can choose. That is completely up to you. And then you're pretty much left to your devices for your filters. So you can pick any filter at all. I'll just pick this one, for example. And once it applies it to, well, there we go. I'm like a little glitch there. Once it applies it to the image, as you can see from the bottom right, I've now got a facial tracking avatar on my, my, my person, which is pretty cool. And there's a lot of different ones there. Some better, some not so good, but I've favorited a few, but the one specifically that we're here to see today is facial tracking. So this is it here. Some of them do require to be activated using a hotkey. So as soon as I use my hotkey, which I've set as control E, as you can see, just from the demonstration here, it's kind of not going to work with my camera. I've got on this, unfortunately, um, but as you can see on the snap camera one, it's tracking me and I can zoom in, zoom out for however close I would like that to be. If you're you know, wanting it really close, you can do it. And there is a little bit of blur. It's not perfect. It's not quite as good as NVIDIA's, but considering it's free and it works on any graphics card and any webcam, you know, not a 350 to 500 quid card from NVIDIA, that's impressive. And it works on a lot of software as well, which is good. So it's simply just a case of switching it on your choosing platform. So Discord, for example, with that one, you just pop down to your video settings, video and audio settings, and go to camera. And I've got a few installed, but you pretty much just pick snap camera. And there we go. Now, as you can see on Discord, I have facial tracking. Um, and it's the same if you're looking to do that. I'll just deactivate that to fix my camera at the bottom here. Um, it's the same if you were to do that on stream for example so if i wanted to enable it on stream just now on obs you'd simply just change your input to snap camera move your camera where you want it to be and you've got facial tracking and it's really good the software actually has a few other things as well there's a couple of things that i've chosen on it to have and um, so for example there's color correction so you see at the bottom right hand corner and the main picture here on the screen if i select that it adds a layer of just a different color scheme without me changing white balance, gamma settings, anything almost like sharpness. So I'll show you that full screen. So if I was to select off of it, you see the colors are a little bit washed out. And then we select it on, it gets a bit more vibrant, gets a bit more kind of warm feeling to it. So you get plenty of options, you know, you get funny faces and all the rest of it. You can get background blur effects. Your mileage will vary with this, depends on your webcam from what I have. So works really horrible. For example, look at my hands on um, my webcam, but if I use my mobile phone, it works an absolute treat. Um, so that, that can change your experience slightly as well, but this has been how to get facial tracking without NVIDIA RTX broadcast. So I hope this has been of some help if it's something you plan on using, whether it be to record a video stream, even just your team's meetings for college or university. It's always a handy thing to have. Um, sometimes a funny face might cheer someone up as well. So thank you for watching. I hope this has been some help. Have a good day. Today I'm going to show you how to get facial tracking. Uh.